one. Ignition, engine full power, and the sun. SpaceX has just carved its way through cloudy skies, sending up a four-man crew on a private mission to the International Space Station, the first human space flight of the year. Caroline Elliott joins us live from Florida Space Coast with more on the Axiom 3 space mission. Caroline. Well, Don Anthony, we had a lot of space fans joining us at Jetty Park just to watch this launch happen. Now, we have seen a lot of these crowds clear out in the last 20 minutes as it did start sprinkling here in the last uh, couple minutes here. But watching this launch with all of these space fans was certainly exciting for a lot of these crowds that were hoping another scrub did not happen. We also saw a lot of crowds here even more excited when that booster returned back to the launch pad. So again, of course, this is a signature move from SpaceX. It's a reason a lot of people follow this company. And we also know, again, that last minute scrub that happened yesterday uh, was disappointing to a lot of these crews after the company really wanted to give these crews extra time to check over the Crew Dragon spacecraft named Freedom. But of course, that launch happened this afternoon and fans here were really excited to see that happen. Now, this marks Axiom Space's third private astronaut mission and the first time an all European crew will head to the International Space Station. Axe 3 will be carrying paying passengers only similar to Axiom's past two missions, but for this mission they will represent their national space programs. Now on board today we have Marcus Want from Sweden, Michael L.A. Lopez Alegria from Spain, a former NASA astronaut who will be leading this mission, as well as mission specialist Walter Villade from Italy and Alper Jezerovacci, Turkey's first astronaut. Uh, a lot of people ask, what should I do to become an astronaut? I think a better question is, what do I do to make myself happy? If making, if being an astronaut is what's going to make you happy, then go for it. But if you want to be an artist or a poet or a mathematician or a scientist, I mean, you name it, just do what makes your heart tick. Now we're expecting the crew to get to the International Space Station by Saturday, where the team will spend the next two weeks there conducting nearly 30 science experiments. Don, Anthony. All right, really cool stuff. Caroline Elliott reported from Florida for us this afternoon. Still to come, an iconic piece of the Chicago sky.